Hi guys, it's Emily here, so welcome to another apartment renovation. So today is kind of a special renovation. Since in yesterday's patch, we got a bunch of new free items, which I am so excited about and I am so blown away. They are all so beautiful and so nice and we got so many things. Like I knew we were getting some new stuff because the Sim Gurus did announce that over on Twitter saying that there was going to be some new items with this update. But I had no idea it was going to be this many things or this nice of stuff. Like It is so good and so I definitely wanted to do a build kind of showcasing the items and I didn't want the build to be too big so I thought an apartment would work really nice. And yeah, what all did we get? We got the new wallpaper, which is the palm wallpaper that I'm going to use in this apartment. We got a new love seat, a new chair. Oh, we got a new ceiling fan and sliding doors. And the ceiling fan and doors are both animated. So, well, the doors, obviously, they have to get through, but they slide it open. And then the fan actually spins in a circle. And it's so, so nice. And we got a new potted plant, which I am so excited about because, well, who doesn't like indoor plants? I mean, I think I would buy an entire plant pack of just indoor plants. I'd be so excited about it. I think a lot of simmers would. It seems to be something we're all obsessed about, but um, that would be great. So I'm really excited about that item. We also got some new wall art and the creative sim items are beautiful. I will be doing a creative sim to showcase uh, the creative sim items as well. It is a couple for this apartment. And so, yeah, we got like a bunch of stuff. It's absolutely amazing. So if you haven't updated your game, definitely do so because you're definitely going to want these items and their base game compatible too. They're completely base game. So that's even better. Um, yeah, so very exciting. Um, I was, is, I've been having like the best day ever just messing around with these items and doing the creative sim. It's so much fun because I was planning on getting some other videos out, but I figured why not just do a build using these new items and just get it out as soon as I could. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy, but this is the, the kitchen area. Normally when I have renovated this apartment, this is where the living space is. So I kind of swapped the living and kitchen area from the way I normally do it. So I kind of think I like this layout a little bit better. I don't know. If you guys have watched me renovate this apartment before, it is Penny Pizzazz's apartment. You can see the address on the top left hand side of the screen if you want to know where to place it exactly. But yeah, it's Penny Pizzazz's apartment and it's kind of has a weird layout. At least I think so. I mean, not to get too critical, um, but it, it, it has the bedroom in like the living area and then the kitchen in the corner where I put the bedroom. So I feel like it's kind of a weird layout. The kitchen's kind of hidden and private and then the living space and bedrooms all open. So that's what I changed. Um, the bathroom's still in the same spot because I feel like that's just the best place to have a bathroom in this apartment, at least in my opinion. But the kitchen is pretty much coming together and that potted plant over by the windows is the new one that just came with the update and it looks so nice. I like it so much and I actually ended up sizing it down in the bathroom and it sized down really nice without any like harsh shadows. So that was really cool and it comes in some really nice patterns and some solid colors on the pots too. Um, and I'm really struggling to pick out curtains for this living area. I was kind of wanting to go for like some bamboo-y looking curtains, but ended up going with these drapes instead. Just a nice cream color, but this is a ceiling fan. Oh my God, how exciting. Um, I think they look so great. And you may notice, I should probably mention while I'm thinking about it, that my game looks a little bit darker than it has been. And that's because I don't have reshade installed currently at the time of me recording this anyways. I was having a lot of issues, as I mentioned in yesterday's two builds. Um, that's kind of exciting. I did a double upload in case you missed it. I just thought it'd be fun and kind of wanted to get those builds out and I had them ready. So I did. But um, I mentioned how I was having issues with some in-game photographs that I took. So I decided to uninstall everything. I removed my mods folder, removed reshade. I removed, I disabled CC completely. Like I just took everything out and it was still uploading as custom content. It was driving me nuts. And I asked over on Twitter if anybody had any ideas and that was like the main suggestion. But I also heard from a lot of people here on YouTube and on Twitter that that's just a thing that no matter what photographs your Sims take, they will always be flagged as custom content. So I feel like that's kind of a shame because you can get some really nice photographs. I mean, of course everybody can still use them. It just kind of makes it harder for people to find them. So. It hasn't always been that way, but something else that I found that was kind of like a little bit weird, if you do a single wall, you can still upload it to the gallery without it flagging as custom content, but as soon as you actually make it like one tile wide, like an actual room, then it flags it as CC. Really weird. But anyways, I won't talk about that anymore because I'm sure it'll get old, but we are working on the living area now. So these are the new furnitures. I decided to put both of the love seats in here and the new chair. And this is the new coffee table. I forgot to mention that. We did get a new coffee table and the wood colors match perfectly with all these base game items. So that was really nice. I was able to use a lot of base game furniture. Now I didn't limit myself to just base game. I used kind of whatever I wanted to, but there are still a lot of base game items and all these new items that just came in yesterday's pack that are now base game too. So it's so exciting. 
but I have pretty much finished the entryway to the house. Now something I didn't get in this apartment was a computer desk, but I ended up putting a tablet at the end of the video. So I figured that kind of works. I don't know if anybody will actually download and play in this apartment. It was kind of just for fun. So I didn't play test it or anything, but I think, um, I still think it looks really nice and you can use a tablet if you want to but this is going to be the bedroom so this is originally where the kitchen area is and I think it just makes so much more sense for a bedroom so <laughs> that's what I did and I put the walk-in closet there I end up switching out this bed for a different one in a little while I think the one that came with seasons um, I really like this bed it just didn't quite have the right colors I was trying to make this one work but the blue frame just didn't quite work for me so this brown bed worked so nicely and it matched all the wood tones perfectly and yeah, I just really like the way this space comes together. I end up getting some wall art on the wall that came from Jungle Adventures, so I thought that worked nicely. I definitely wanna do a Jungle Adventure build using some of these items because it has a whole tropical vibe and it'll work perfectly over there. And I'm really hoping that this free update is kind of hinting towards future content. I mean, I may be stretching it quite a bit, but I would love to see an actual tropical world. And I think like my ideal tropical world would be one that has like a city or like promenade area and then beach lots like actual in the sand lots where your sims can like live on the beach right, right next to the water <laughs> that would be so great i mean even if it's a vacation world that's whatever but i would really like it to be a livable world and yeah have like like i think they could do a promenade area because if you're familiar with like beach promenades um at least i am from living in california uh there's like lots of street performers and stuff. And I was thinking they could kind of do a similar thing to City Living where they have the festivals, but make kind of like a promenade where there's like uh, stalls that stand, like sell like different goods and foods and stuff. And then you could have like some people like doing street performing stuff. I think that would be really cool. Don't know if they'll ever do that, but it's an idea. I, and I would like to see it anyways. But um, yeah, I think the bedroom has pretty much came together and the last room that we decorate is the bathroom. Oh, and adding another ceiling fan in the apartment because I figured why not have one in the bedroom too? <laughs> so nice I <laughs> like, like those items so much but there's that wall art from jungle adventure I thought that suited this apartment pretty perfectly and this bathroom is pretty small but I think it works pretty good I don't get a bathtub in here just a single shower but if you wanted to move the toilet to the other side of the bathroom and remove one of the counters that would be a pretty easy way to get a bathtub in here if you needed one because maybe you have a dog or something that you need to give a bath or a toddler even though there's not really space for a toddler but you could do it if you wanted to and I also continued the palm wallpaper throughout the bathroom as well I'm just like obsessed I'm probably gonna use this wallpaper way way too much but it is so pretty like I need it in real life like if you guys have palm wallpaper in your house I'm so jealous of you like I would just love to have like a sunroom with palm wallpaper I don't know if I'd want this pink maybe like a green and a white or something I guess it depends on the space and what furniture you have in it but anyways I would be oh it'd be so nice and there I just sized down that new potted plant and look it sized down perfectly I really thought it was gonna have like a pretty harsh shadow but it didn't it looks really nice I think and then I just make some final touches. I fill up the side table behind the couch and I also end up adding a guitar, I think, and the little iPad thing. So your sim have a computer and some sort of skill building items, but that's about it. I hope you guys did enjoy this apartment. Hopefully you guys are excited about the update like I am and hopefully you love the new items, but definitely let me know what you guys think either way. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.